This is Andy Cotter with MMA.ca here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, alongside Chester Post. Chester, I guess it's kind of a bittersweet night for you. Uh, unfortunately, on the losing end of your fight tonight against Aaron Myers, but the big news really uh, is the emotion you showed at the end. Uh, uh, you've announced your retirement after 14 years in the sport. Uh, you know, everybody is probably in Canada seeing Chester Post fight for one promotion or another around the, around the country. So tell us what your uh, decision process was leading up to tonight's uh, decision. Um, basically, I already made the decision before coming into the fight. Um, I've been doing it long enough. Uh, MMA's graced me with a lot of stuff, and I've just come into a new career of uh, culinary, so kind of choosing a new path and getting out while I still have a brain to do it. Yeah. So you're going to be a, a culinary, you mean a chef of some type, or? Absolutely. i um, working right now to hopefully become a chef later on in life and open my own business and be able to have stories to tell kids later. Nice. Well, I know you're a, you're a dangerous guy already in the cage, but I can't imagine you with a pair of knives in your hand. Um, I'm more dangerous against myself with the knives right now, but uh, hopefully I'll get good enough and uh, everyone will come out and have some good food. Uh, so tell me, Chester, you've had a long and storied career. You've fought a lot of top names in Canadian mixed martial arts. Uh, do you have any, any, any best or worst moments of the sport you'd like to share? Worst moments has got to be uh, all 28 of my losses. <laughs> but no, uh, the best moment is just the fans, other fighters being in the back rooms. It's, it's great. It's an experience that most people will never get unless they're in the cage. And it's not being a caged animal. It's just being human. You see the human side behind the scenes. It's great. Um, every time I've spoken with you, I've been uh, I've been really uh, impressed by your humanity. Really, you're such a, a gentle guy, it seems. And yet, for a gentle guy, you go into a cage and you punch other other men in the face. Uh, is that really at odds with your personality? Is that why you think maybe you know your record couldn't have been a little bit better, or you know you didn't have more wins? Do, can you really t take it to somebody? Um, I can take it to somebody. I think near the end there, I was getting a little soft. Um, I just see humanity and. I see more to life after a while and I see these guys they are young and they're tough and they've just got more hunger than I do right now and I think it's time for me to step aside and let them do their thing. Well, Chester, uh, it's been my pleasure to watch you fight. Congratulations on your storied career and uh, best of luck to everything with you in the kitchen in the future. Thanks very much. Thanks, guys, for everything. Is there anybody like to thank before we go? Um, I'd like to thank my mom, um, all the promotions out there, all the fighters that have taken fights with me, um, Facebook, backslash nente.com. I'd like to thank them for all their support up to this point. Uh, please feel free to check them out and like them. The more like How do you spell that? Um, N-E-N-T-E-H. And you can find them on Facebook. Just uh, like the group and for sure, I'll see everybody around some point in time. All right, Chester, it's been my pleasure and uh, all the best in the future. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, this is Andy Cotterell with MMA.ca here. Uh, with MMA.ca alongside Chester Post in Halifax, Nova Scotia.